Hello, YouTube. Chrome Freak here. Let's see. Got the beard going. Ah, my wife hates it. I don't know. Anyway, Marlin 1895. I'm not going to play around. Let's get it back together. Um, reassemble it. Find scratches in there. Anyway, I'll get that out when we're done. Um, <clears throat> it's a fairly easy gun to work on. Fairly easy to disassemble, reassemble. Uh, just, you know, guys, um, take your time, don't rush, and you'll be able to get through it. Okay, first piece that's going to go back in is the carrier. Okay, the bolt will ride in the carrier up here, and this hole right here is going to go into this hole right here in front of your cross bolt safety. We'll stick that in. Actually, let's stick the bottom up in there first. Just line the hole up. Usually I don't finagle like that, but I got a, got the camera right here, and I want to make sure you guys can see. So I hope you're seeing. And I'll go ahead and I'll tighten that one down. Make sure you're putting the right screws back into the right holes. Um, fairly easy. They're all different. You shouldn't mix them up. It shouldn't be too too bad of a deal. I'm not going to really tighten that down yet until um until I need to. Okay, the next piece I'm going to put back in is the locking block. Call it the safety locking block, call it the locking block. Now if you look down in the gun, you're going to see two notches on either side of that carrier. Simply going to slide, I'm hoping you're seeing this, right in. Slide it right in. Let me show you real quick. I want to make sure you get this right. Uh, where are we at? There we are. See this hook? The hook's going to point toward the, the back of the gun, toward where your uh, stock would be. So it goes in this way. And a hook right here pointing toward the back. Okay. The next piece that's going to go back in is going to be our trigger assembly. That's what I'll call it. Um, it's the bottom plate trigger assembly. This is, like I said, a fairly easy gun to put back together. Um, you flip it up on its bottom if you want. Just lay it in there. Um, there's a little pin right here. Got to make sure that that is all the way in. There we are push it all the way forward, I flip it up on its bottom. Now here you have the same size screws in diameter, but one is longer, one is shorter. The longer of those two goes in to the bottom of the, of the receiver right here would be the longer of the two. The shorter one will go into the side, which is the opposite side of the gun we've been working on. I will share that in a minute. I get it snug, but I don't really tighten them down yet until um, it's time. So I need to. Okay, this one goes in here. You gotta make sure it's lined up perfectly. That's why I don't tighten things down all the way because you may have to move them a little bit. Let me get the screwdriver on that. It fell off. Put it back in. This said, guys, this is a fairly easy gun to work on. Just take your time. You shouldn't mess up. Especially stainless gun, I don't want to slip off and scratch anything. Okay, I'm not going to tighten it all the way down yet, like I said. Just get it very, fairly close. Okay, now what I had done, I had done the trigger job. I didn't show you guys, but I had the trigger completely out of here. I did some stoning, some work on all that. And I'm um, smoothing out of other areas. Um, but I won't get into that right now. Okay. The next piece I'm going to put in is going to be the hammer itself. I actually come down through the top like so. Then I like to hold the, hit the trigger back. I take the trigger and I hold it back. And you should be able to get it fairly lined up. Uh, make sure I got the right one for here. That's it right there. And then screw it in. Raymond's in here. <laughs> oh god. Alright, screwed it in. Did you show Brain? Are you filming? Yeah. What's 
up, YouTube? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, I haven't showed it to him yet. Yeah, I will. I'll show, I'll show it to him. Here, I'll fuck with him. He's got all. Happy help. holidays. <laughs> all right, guys. I just make sure everything is in there together. We're all good. Now, the next piece that's going to go in is going to be our lever. Actually, I'm sorry. It is going to be our ejector. I'm a little bit confused here. And where are my needle nose? Where did my needle nose go? I'll use these ones over here. Okay, guys. There's this hole right here on the back of this ejector. I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a groove in there that you're taking it out of. You're going to take it in there and you're going to put it into the hole. And you can kind of feel with the pliers or your finger if you're if you got a small enough hand. Go ahead and pull that hammer back. Make sure the hammer's back and we're going to stick the bolt in. Obviously you know the front of the bolt from the back and you get it in there right and it will go in and I might not have the injector. Oop, make sure my injector's proper. There. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, I got it in. I don't push it all the way. I leave it to about, I don't know, I'll put my finger in there, about right there, if you guys can see what's going on. Uh, the next piece that's going to go in is going to be our lever. When you get it right, it will go right in. And there it is. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where's my screw? Now there it is. Just make sure, you guys, I got all these parts on here because I got two guns open. I got this gun and I got that little revolver that, that's open also. Um, but I got them all in a safe place. They're on here, but sometimes it takes a minute to find them. Go ahead and screw this one in. Like I said, I don't crank everything down yet. I just um, get it snug. I don't want to crank anything down yet. And I take my time, so especially a pretty gun like this, I don't want to scratch it up. Okay. Now, go ahead and close that. Now what we need to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull the hammer, or pull the trigger, let the hammer pull my finger all the way forward. So it gives me enough working room with my um, main spring and my main spring plate, keeper, whatever you want to call it. Now it's going to go in like this. There's a hole. That hole is going to fit onto this bar like so. And then there's this groove right here at the bottom of the frame. Then you'll compress the spring by pushing this top down and in and under. Now what I'm going to have to do to do this is I'm going to stand the gun up um, like so. Actually, upside down, not like so. Okay, let me bring it up here where you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, see what I'm doing right there? There's the main spring. I'll go ahead and I'm going to put the spring over it. I have this light so we're better seeing down there, but I'm not sure that's really helping. I think it casts more shadows than helps. I'm going to go ahead and get that plate on to the pin. Compress it as good as I can. Get it into that groove. Once I get it started in the groove, I pull that top down and slide it in. And that's it. It's home. You see that, guys? All right. Now what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and bring it back down. How are we doing over here? Huh. Get it right. Okay. I just want to check for function. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger. It's nice. Got about a three and a half pound to four pound trigger pull now. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to slip the gun upside down. I'm going to reach over here and grab the stock. And we'll go ahead and we'll put that um, It helps when you put it the right direction, guys. Okay. Go ahead and knock that all the way in. One screw. Right in the back. Put it in, tighten it down, and this baby's done, guys. I hope you could see. I don't have nobody filming me. I don't have good lighting here. I'm going to try to improve the qualities, and I'm going to try to um, start filming a lot more videos, too. i got to clean the gun up. Got a couple of scratches I'll take out with some very light thousand grit sandpaper, get it all out, make it look perfect, though. Beautiful. Everything looks good talking very nice and it's working. Let's go ahead and check the safety while we're on here. Um, and by the way, you want to make sure that that's still locking in there. I, I've retained enough strength to go ahead and lock that in, as you can see. Let's put the safety on. That keeps the hammer from hitting the firing pin. So when it's on safe, safety is off. 
If you can see, hammer goes all... You guys can't see. I'm sorry. Well, it's just some editing in this. Okay. The safety is off. The hammer is going to make contact all the way up and make contact with the firing pin. Go ahead and cock it, cock it back. Safety on. Pull the trigger. It will fire, but the, the hammer will not strike the firing pin. It's a block. It will not allow it to go all the way in. So, safety off. Fired. No problem. All right, guys. I'm just going to tighten this gun up, clean it up a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to <laughs> try to film by myself backward and everything. I'll clean it up, oil it up, get it all ready for the customer, tighten everything down real good. And um, we're done with this one. We'll move on to the next one. I'm working on this little Smith revolver over here. I got completely tore apart. Uh, the stone I was using. Completely torn apart. I'm going to clean it all up. I'm not doing a trigger job. It was just an inspection. The guy wanted it taken completely apart, cleaned, oiled, and put back together. So when I detail strip, I detail strip. Um, I've already got a Smith & Wesson 19. It's the same way. So I, there's no use in me making a video for this little revolver right here because go to, go to my Smith & Wesson 19 video and you'll see it. All right, guys, um, I'll try to edit out the little junk that got in the way here and there um, where I had to stop and run out and all that and try to put together a halfway decent video here. But as you can see, this is a very simple design, simple gun. Just take your time and you should not have no problems doing your own trigger job. Uh, or getting in there to, to repair parts that are broke or whatnot. All right, guys, you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, Chrome Freak 123, KNW Gunworks, Southern Yankee Guns, and Ammunition Depot. See you guys.